to Herman Hospital last night. Investigators were combing the garage of her home in Atascacita. Neighbors told investigators that they heard the first gunshot. Followed by a scream and then a, another second quick gunshot. And then a suspect was seen hiding by a tree. The vehicle came around the corner and picked him up and left. Investigators, though, found no evidence of robbery or sexual assault or any other motive for the shooting. That's when they began questioning Bob Frada, the victim's estranged husband. Relatives say Frada and his wife had been in a bitter battle over custody of their three children for two and a half years. We talked to at least two people that she's made the statement that he said she'd be dead before she'd get out of the marriage. Frada was released this afternoon to a battery of cameras and microphones after 14 hours of questioning. He seemed unfazed, though he immediately accused sheriff's deputies of violating his civil rights. We're not allowed to make uh, any calls. I mean, I thought they might have had a tape somewhere in the room. I kept saying into the tape what time it was, and I, I want to call an attorney. Um, I was, like I said, I was completely denied all that. Like I said, I was beaten, and you know, this was ridiculous. And He's lying. He's been lying all night. I mean, you all ask him about calling the attorney. Who's your attorney? He doesn't even have an attorney. The three children were with Bob Frada last night during the shooting. It was his regular Wednesday night visitation. According to family members, usually he takes the children to dinner. But last night he told sheriff's deputies that they all went to church. When he did arrive with the children well after the shooting, according to family members, he showed no emotion and no sorrow. When I first got there, I initially thought it was a drug raid. Everybody looked calm. Nobody was frantic about anything. Um, I saw everything taped off, and I thought I saw Farah. I, I still don't know who it was that I saw, but I thought it was Farah standing there. I was going to actually walk up to her and joke, oh, what do you got, a drug raid going on here? Frata and, is a fireman and police officer at Missouri City. Sheriff's deputies say he knows the routine. Frata even played to the cameras, wiping a speck of blood from his face after making his accusations about civil rights abuses. He knows how it goes. He's well aware of his rights. He well, he's well aware of what we can and cannot do. He knows how to make problems. And he, uh, you know, he's just been real amused by this whole thing. Farah Frada died last night at Herman Hospital of a gunshot wound to the head. Deputies describe it as execution style. Dan Locke, 11 News.